ladies and gentlemen, Bula uh, all. Like my colleague here, I'm quite grateful to be here with you all this morning to join you in this inaugural National Kava Committee meeting here at Holiday Hill. <coughs> it is good to see you here in numbers, which signifies the importance of this commodity to a large cross-section of people in Fiji. Our farmers, our farm households, our landowners, our traders, our consumers, and our country. Kava, or Yangona to us Fijians, is a traditional national drink that is synonymous to Fijian way of life signifying peace and deep-rooted respect. Today it is enjoyed by most Fijians as a social drink and is the basis of a Tanaloa session that encourages strategic decisions and consultations in our homes, communities, and at times at work. And now it is part of most social and religious gathering with no bounds to race and ethnicity. Over the years it has provided employment and sustained our farmers' livelihoods contributing significantly to our export earnings. There has been the main source of income to many households, local carver dealers, retailers, and exporters. <clears throat> it is unique, it is, its uniqueness is relatively low input requirement, neutral in skill requirement for cultivation, highly suitable for cultivation in our country, and extraordinary high net returns. Therefore, it is too important a commodity to be left for setting of rules of business to external parties whose interests are to use for their own financial gain only. Hence, the government will set the rules. Ladies and gentlemen, Kava contributed an average of 16.3% to total agricultural GDP in the past four years, on an average, and 42% of total crop GDP during the same period in 2019 perform exceptionally well as compared to other crops such as sugarcane, ginger, dalo, cassava, contributing 50% to total agricultural GDP. From 2016 to 2019, <coughs> the volume of kava production continued to grow at an annual average rate of more than 12%, despite several external shocks such as natural disasters, which we are, which we are now facing nearly every year. Volume and value of kava exported since 2016, also uh, as alluded to by our Honorable uh, Minister of Trade, it increased at an average growth rate of 45% to, uh, percent and 39% percent respectively. Fiji's total kava export accounts for $43.6 million in 2020, and our main export destinies, as mentioned by Honorable Minister Koya. Is uh, US, New Zealand, Hawaii, and neighboring Pacific Island countries, and now we're looking at entering and taking over Australia. On 11th uh, October 2019, the Australian Prime Minister, Honorable Scott Morrison, announced that the Australian government was stepping up its commitment to the Pacific by launching a Kava pilot program. The pilot program recognizes the deep cultural significance of Kava Pacific countries, both in Australia and across the Pacific region. The pilot program will provide broader support under the Pacific Step Up to increase stronger cultural and economic ties between Australia and Pacific Island nations. As alluded to by uh, uh, Minister for Trade, the, the pilot program consists of two phases, and, and, and I leave it there, and I think the Minister for Trade has explained that in detail. Ladies and gentlemen, according to our 2020 agriculture census, Ministry of Agriculture, through its cover development program, has supported more than 18,000 agricultural households. So <clears throat> that, is, uh, that is part of the 30,000 kava uh, farmers and households that we have uh, in this industry at the farm level. Our support includes provision of planting materials, land preparation, infrastructure development, including value adding, provision of farm houses, capacity building to training in various areas. And we are continually um, getting more land under agriculture and more land under uh, kava. We are constructing nurseries so that farmers are able to get seedlings rather than using um, um, cuttings and to ensure that germination rate is 100%. And we are expanding kava uh, farming in the Western Division on a large scale. Today's meeting is long overdue, and I believe our engagement here will go a long way, as alluded to by the Minister of Trade. Not only will it create the network that will enable us to further enhance Fiji's carbon industry, but establish the best platform to move together as a team, promoting and achieving the inevitable, not only in a regional market, but also in the international market. What I want to see personally is we take over 100% of the demand from this market, particularly the new market that's opening up in Australia, not going to set the benchmark anything lower than that. 
ensure consumers know exactly what they are consuming in terms of nutrition facts. <clears throat> So and on this front, Ministry of Agriculture is now um, uh, ready to uh, undertake testing as uh, I believe there was an issue uh, raised by some of the <coughs> exporters that the, the testing capacity is low or only, there's only one lab here, at, I believe, at USP. Ministry of Agriculture is now ready to undertake your testing at a cost of $300, which includes testing for carbolactone on a three-day turnaround period. Okay. So, as I said, we want to take over 100% of the demand and, and uh, competitive basis and ensure that our consumers know exactly what they are consuming in terms of nutritional effects as required in the guideline, ensure we are consistent in supply, ensure all proceeds flow into the country, industry players and government must have full information, not only with regard to exports to Australia but to all markets, that every player, small or big, must be respected and given space to contest in equal terms. And we must not at any point in time deprive the country foreign dollars by undercutting price in the export market. This will reduce our foreign currency holdings, export income, and also price and income that we pass to our farmers. So I hope discussions today will centre on the other framework. And I wish to take this opportunity to thank you all for your endless commitment to the growing of Fiji's kava market and kava industry. Our job is to ensure that the supply is sufficient, consistent, quality, the rest is taken over by, by my colleagues, Ministry, Industry, Trade, um, uh, and Tourism. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I join my honourable colleague, uh, Honourable Koya, uh, to officially <coughs> open our first National Kava Committee meeting and wish you all the best in your deliberation. Thank you, Nakhandinawa.